The modern debate is fiercely fueled by worries over social decline, the necessity of boundaries, and the ever-widening generational chasm. Tucker Carlson's urgent message to voters resonates deeply with those alarmed by the whirlwind of social and economic upheaval, sparking immediate anxieties about crime and foreboding visions of societal decay. You want to hear my theory? Yeah. I think Utah is too nice and has been too nice for too long. And the people who live there, I say this as a native Californian, so I saw this happen. They've lost sight of the central truth in life, which is it takes a long time to build something functional and beautiful. And it can be destroyed very, very quickly, very quickly. California, obviously the greatest state this country ever produced. And now it's in some ways the worst. And it happened in a generation of my lifetime. And I just don't think the people of Utah understand how quickly their state could become a slum. California's become a slum. And that could happen because, you know, you're, you're like, you're comfortable, you're prosperous. You're like, you know, we've been too mean, like putting people in prison for rape. Like, maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, and you don't understand that the second you allow disorder, slovenliness, debt, like you, the whole thing can disappear right, in 10 years. Carlson's stark warning about Utah's potential for a drastic downturn, reminiscent of California's generational shift, tugs at the heartstrings of those concerned about the erosion of order and traditional values under progressive policies. His rhetoric skillfully plays on fears of escalating crime, economic turmoil, and cultural backsliding, underscoring the belief that sanctuary policies and the liberal stance of the Church of Latter-day Saints are accelerating this decline. These points are pivotal in the critical discourse against liberal policies, advocating for stringent immigration controls and robust law enforcement to safeguard societal stability.